Alright, so we've been focusing on right triangle trigonometry, but what if we don't have a right triangle? So this triangle um, obviously is, is not a right triangle. We can use something called the law of sines. So the law of sines says that, oh, I gotta get my pencil, says that sine of the angle, that these are all equal um, ratios. And you only use two of them. So for this one, we're asked to find AC. That's across from angle B. So that'd be side B. We also have 118 degrees. This would be A, but we don't know that side. But we know the side across from C. So we're going to start out by finding angle C. So I'm going to do 180 minus 118 minus 22. And that's going to give me an angle of 40 degrees. So now I can say sine of 40 over 24 equals sine 22 over B. So I'm not, I'm not going to use A because I don't know side A. And now we're just going to solve. So I have, I'm going to cross multiply. I have a ratio. So I have B sine 40 equals 24 sine of 22. And then I'm going to divide by the sine of 40. I'm going to do it all at once because these are going to be obviously be decimals. So I'm going to make sure I put my denominator in parentheses. So I have... 24 sine 22 and I'm going to divide by the sine of 40 and I'm going to put that in parentheses and I end up with 13.986 so about 13.99 okay we're asked to find AB so this is little c so I have these two that I can use and I have these two so I'm gonna say sine of 44 over 7 equals sine 53 over C and you obviously these could be flipped around and you could have sine of 53 over C first equals sine 44 over 7 now I'm going to cross multiply so I have C times the sine of 44 equals 7 sine of 53 divide both sides by the sine of 44 so I have 7 sine 53 divide sine of 44 and that would be 8.05. Okay, and keep in mind, remember what we learned first semester, the larger the angle, the bigger the side across from it. So 53 is bigger than 44, so my side should have been longer than 7. It's not a gigantic amount longer, so this makes sense at like 85. All right, this time we want the angle, so I want to know C. So I'm going to use these two and these two. I'm not going to use 16.1 because I don't have B. So I have sine 88 over 26 equals sine of C over 21. And I'm just going to multiply both sides by 21. So I have 21 sine 88 over 26. Equals sine C. 
So I'm going to take the inverse sine of 21 sine 88 divide 26. And I get 53.8 degrees. So I'm going to take the inverse sine and I'm going to type that all in at once into my calculator. So I have C is about 53.8 degrees. Okay, we're asked to find C again. Uh, so I know A, so I'm going to say sine of 103 over 26 equals sine C over 6. So multiply both sides by 6 and then take the inverse sine of all of this. And I'd say because it's a lot smaller than 103, the side should be a lot smaller than 26. So I have 6 sine 103 divided by 26. So I end up with about 13 degrees. So I get 12.994. So you could say 12.99 or about 13 degrees. All right, thanks for watching. This was the Law of Signs.